Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a vlog because we're on holiday. We're on a cruise. We're in Venice right now and the cruise is a week. We're going to some different places. Stay tuned to find out where we go because I can't remember. Okay, it's a bit later now. We've just been sort of finding our feet on the boat. But now we're heading to go do a quiz, a welcome aboard trivia. We're not very good at trivia. Our general knowledge is not really up there. But we find them fun, so we go and do a couple. What country is the world's biggest coffee exporter? What country is the world's question number two? Everyday objects. That's question number two. <laughs> For dinner, we've just set sail and we've been watching Venice go by. Very pretty. We can still see it out our window. It looks lovely. In a couple of minutes, we're going to go and eat dinner. Oh, there's someone walking a dog. Oh yeah, lightning. There was thunder and lightning, which is a little bit scary. I'm sure, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Picture trivia. Aeroplane tales. In the evening, general knowledge at 5 p.m. Rock and roll dance party. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's day two now. This morning we've been for a run, we run most days, but now we've just got ready and we're gonna head down for breakfast. Today we're going to Dubrovnik in Croatia. We're not getting there until about lunchtime so we have the morning on the boat. <laughs> just did a stretching class. How are you feeling after that? I'm feeling very stretched. Stretch. Number five. What does a hippo fall fear? The answer is horses. We just played Bago. Basically you throw beanbags into a hole. So much fun. It's like a tournament but only us three went. So we all, I won basically. Got a gold medal. Oh, well. oh there we go. My dad was second and my mum was third. We had to do a tiebreaker, my dad and I, and it was very stressful, but I came out on top. We've come to lunch now. I have a Dr. Pepper inside my little cup. I'm a very happy bunny. We've got off the ship, we're on a little shuttle bus that's going to take us into the old town in Croatia, Dubrovnik. I thought that was your ear, but it's your hair clip. But when it was like this, it looked like... Okay, it does. <laughs> Okay, we've made it to the old town. We're having a little look around. We just saw a cat and they have really funky pigeons here. Very stylish. We just got ice cream. I got a cookie flavor. So good. We're back on the boat now. I enjoyed our time in Croatia. My dad and I have now come to play table tennis. We've come to do the evening trivia. Number 22. What is mother Teresa's given name? <laughs> later now we're ready for dinner we've just come to get some drinks and we're also going to play a little card game <laughs> we've come to dinner see what's on the cruise compass for tomorrow general knowledge at five that's it really <laughs> Good morning, we've come for breakfast. I'm in the middle of a bagel and chocolate milk. So today we're in Couture in Montenegro. There it is, it's very pretty. We're actually doing a shore excursion today, so we're doing a speedboat adventure. <laughs> It was very fun. We're now at this little beach. On this people we went to like a cave that was called Blue Cave because the water was really blue. It was very pretty. Yeah, now we've got a couple of hours to spend on this little beach. <laughs> we just finished the boat tour, speedboat thing. It was really, really good. We've decided to come into the town just for a little explore before we get back on the boat. So 
So it's a little bit later we've come to do the general knowledge quiz but we're very confused because we thought we had an at sea day tomorrow but the captain seems to think that we're going to Greece. So we have a trip booked and it's for Wednesday and tomorrow's Tuesday and we, he thinks we're going tomorrow. Like he did an announcement about what time we're going to get there and that we have to change our clock which never normally happens because you stay on ship's time so you don't get confused. So we don't know what's going on. We might be going to Greece tomorrow. We might be in the sea. Okay, we've just come back to the room. We're going to get ready for dinner now. Tonight is formal night. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like we're on the Tower of Terror. <laughs> we're all ready for dinner now. Sparkly. Yeah. <laughs> I had to come back to the room because I forgot to put lipstick on. So it turns out we weren't ready for dinner. I'm going to wear the frog prints I wear basically every day because I just like the colour that it gives. It's green, but it does not come out green. That would be weird. In a minute we're gonna go get some formal night photos but the professional photographers are on a bit of a break so we're gonna go at half seven when they're back. <laughs> We have an update on the whole thing about we might be going to Greece tomorrow. We're not. It says that we're at sea. But we do still have to move our clocks forward, I think. All of the doors that we're walking past have a little card in them to say, move your clock forward. So we lose another hour of sleep, which is fabulous. Does that say my name on it? Oh no, it says laundry. We're calling it seven, but it's actually six. Our door didn't even have the thing in it. There's a Disney quiz at 2.15. If we get up. Yeah, then it's morning. Oh, it's six. Then it's, and the clocks have moved forward for now. It's either six or seven. Yeah, six. And the clocks have moved forward, but we didn't notice. Seven. Don't get it. There's no need to be on Greek time tomorrow. But the people have got it in their doors. You've made that up. I haven't. You. I'm going to go for another look. Do you see why I'm confused? That is in some people's doors, but not everyone. So not everyone knows about this time shift. No, if, if we put our clocks forward and we get up at six, then it's six. Then it's six. <laughs> but it feels like five. We need to get off at today's six, whatever time that is. Today's six is seven tomorrow. Yeah, if we leave our clocks on today's time and set the alarm for six, then we'll be getting up at six. But ship's time will be seven. So in real life it will be six. So it'll be the same temperature as being six. <laughs> don't get it. Currently. Ten o'clock. We won't get up in eight hours time. Yeah, we won't get up at, at six tomorrow as if we got up at six today. Yeah. On the compass it says sunrise is at 7.02 a.m. So is that at 6.02 a.m.? Yeah. My whole brain is like buzzing. It's not in a happy way, in a confused way. Good morning everyone. Today we're at sea. We've just been for a run and we're gonna go for breakfast now. I'm dressed a little bit like a five-year-old today, but I'm kind of loving it. I've got a little yellow play suit on and then a white top underneath. And yeah, we're gonna go for breakfast. We've come to do the morning general knowledge trivia. The croissant, Austria. Yeah. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> what an scientific name Solenopsis Invicta translates as invisible oh, yeah. and fire. fire. Oh. Okay, we've just done the trivia. We were joint last <laughs> with 6 out of 15, which isn't that bad of a percentage. It's like almost half. We've just been sat by the pool all morning. We've now come for lunch. Okay, we just did the Disney quiz and we didn't win. <laughs> the winners got full marks and we did not. There were two that we didn't know, but one of the ones that we didn't know was Can You Feel Love Tonight from The Lion King? Which obviously we do know. It was just a weird version of the song that we didn't recognise. Bit disappointed. Okay, so we've now come to the deck and we're just sitting in some maybing. I'm actually going to sit and edit a video. Hello. 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 We're all ready for dinner. We're going to go and have some drinks and then we'll eat dinner. Okay, so we've actually come to do the 70 quiz. I'm relying on my parents to get the answers because I don't know anything in general, really. Today we're in Santorini in Greece and we're doing a volcano hike and a hot springs swim. We're on a pirate ship. We're in the sea. We have to swim in the sea a little bit until we get to the hot spring. So we decided to come and do the cable car ride up to the top. Okay, we got back on the boat now. We just come for lunch. I also have an orange flavoured coke in my little cup. I haven't tried it yet. 
That's so weird. It's just like you've mixed Fanta Orange and Coke. Like the first taste you get is Fanta Orange, and then when you swallow it, you get the Coke. We just got time for dinner. Okay, we're about to go to bed now. I'll pick this back up in the morning. Tomorrow we're going to be in Cat Catacolon. Catacolon, Catacolon, I don't know. Which is also in Greece. Oh, we haven't. Let's have a look at the compass for tomorrow. It happened in the 80s trivia. Will you be good at that? You might be. An evening with Celine Dion. Celine Dion's getting on. <laughs> Hi, Celine. Good morning. Today we're in Catacolon in Greece. We just had breakfast. We're going to do the morning trivia, which is at 10, and then we're going to get off the boat. So we decided to play table tennis. <laughs> Okay, we've come off the boat now and we're just having a little explore. We didn't end up doing the trivia because, I don't know, it just didn't end up happening. Okay, so we found a little beach to sit on. I also got a little Fanta, which is in a very cool little can. I think that's very cute. <laughs> There's a cricket in my daughter and Jenna. It's huge! Okay, so we just got back onto the boat. <laughs> yeah, we just did like a trivia thing. It was called Tri Bond Trivia. There was only two teams, us and another team. We came second, <laughs> which is the same as last. But they gave us prizes, little pens, out of pity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're heading to lunch now. Okay, so we just had lunch and we've actually decided to come back on the boat just to have a little explore. Okay, so it's a little bit later. We're ready for dinner now. It's another formal night tonight, but we're not going as formal, I guess. We're gonna go take some photos and then we're gonna get some dinner. We just got dessert, but they also gave us this cake because it's the anniversary of Royal Caribbean. How cute, that looks amazing. 